Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just been out for a drive in my larder through the beautiful Cheshire countryside in the Peak District National Park. And I'm gonna go for a walk up Shutlingslow. It's a mini mountain, as they say. So I've parked here at Vicarage Quarry. So you can see it probably was a small quarry once. The drive here was amazing. I really enjoyed coming through some lovely, you know, little villages. I've now arrived, I'm gonna walk up the lane and I'm going to head up first through Macclesfield Forest to try and find the Macclesfield Green Chapel and then we're going to go for a walk up Shutlingslow. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not entirely sure, and um, see what we can see. As you can see it's a, a really lovely spring day so no doubt we're going to get some amazing views. So come with me and enjoy the walk. So I've just walked a little way up the lane, haven't got far. Um, oh, please, wonder what they're doing. Um, my car is just over there in Vicarage Quarry, but already 100 yards into the walk, and um, I'm really enjoying just how scenic it is. So the road follows the Clough Brook, and as you can see, very attractive. And just through there, look at some waterfalls. There's a stream coming down from the hill to join the Clough Brook. So um, there's a very relaxing sound of water and um, I always enjoy any walk by water. I think this is really going to be a perfect walk in perfect weather, in perfect countryside. So I've now walked along by the Clough Brook for about a quarter of a mile along the lane, just passing Dinger's Hollow Farm on that side. And this is where, just up here, I'm about to leave the lane and head up into the hills properly. So it always seems, you know, when you take your sort of first step off the lane, when you go for a walk in the countryside, that the walk really begins. So we're going to leave now the Clough Brook and we're going across here, public footpath. So we're going through, this is interesting. Look at that. It's like one big gate with a little gate in a gate. I've seen that with doors, but I've never seen a gate within a gate before. Quite a clever idea, that. I like that. So, I'm now going to head up across the field, up in that direction. So I've just come up from the lane. That's Dinger's Hollow Farm. I'm really glad I decided to wear wellies today, um, because there's kind of a stream running along the path and it is incredibly muddy. So if you're ever coming up this way, I'll tell you now, I suggest you wear wellies. But now look, the path's become much um, easier to walk on. And we're gradually rising above the valley of the Clough Brook. You can see the lane is just down there where the dry stone wall is. You'll see a car in a second to point out exactly where the lane is. So that's where I was walking and um, I'm now, well, my real climbing begins. We're going to descend to somewhere up over there. So let's see where we go. So I've come to the first real panoramic view of my walk. I've just come across those fields there, across this lane, could continue on up this footpath, across this field, I'm heading for those woods over there. And that's where this chapel is said to be and there's a load of cows up on the hill munching away at the grass well i've made it to almost the top of the hill the reason i'm crouched down like this behind this dry stone wall is because it's become quite windy which you know is expected up here so just so you can hear me i'm down here I'll just show you a couple of things there's a road sign it says forest chapel quarter of a mile so we're going to head up there and find the forest chapel whether we'll get to go in or not i don't know at this stage now if you i don't know if you can see but just up there between the barbed wire fences there is a mast and there's the cat and fiddle public house i can see it but the camera's not picking it out and that is the highest pub in great britain so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna insert a picture now
so you can see what I mean. You can just see it. I know it is only a tiny dot. I'm now going to stand up and brave the wind. It's not as bad as it was actually a moment ago. Um, so we came from right down there, about a mile and a half away. You can see the valley of the Clough Brook, but our hill climbing isn't over yet. We're going to carry on up here, and then we're going to go down the back along there, through Mapplethorpe, up over to Shuttling over there, and back down to where I park my car. you're all in Henry's adventures so um, yeah the internet's gonna be watching you we've carried on climbing up here we can now see the other side so like I said we're heading for over there Shuttling Glow um, you can just see Macclesfield Forest down there so before I go up I've got to go down so I can go all the way down there and up through the forest to over there so it's gonna be an interesting walk so Goodbye sheep, I'm going to leave you now to eat your grass and enjoy the views. So it's really quite windy now but we've made it to our first summit on the walk up from Vicarage Quarry. And I've been telling you we're looking for this chapel. There we go, there's the chapel just down there. So um, we're going to carry on down the hill and we're going to go and have a look, hopefully go inside. I don't yet know but it just looks so picturesque, this little hamlet up here in the Peak District, seemingly so far from anywhere. Although it's a nice day, so there's quite a lot of people, you know, driving up here, but I'm more proud I walked up here, I didn't drive. So anyway, let's go and have a closer look at the chapel. So here we are in the little hamlet, this building here, that's the old school there, and the teacher would have lived in that house there. I don't know how many children would have come here, very few. I would have thought, but obviously enough to merit having a school here. And here's the chapel, and there's the churchyard. So, should we go and have a look, see if we can get inside this um, very remote chapel. It is still functioning though, which is really nice to see. So people do come here for Sunday services. If you have a look, it says St. Stephen's, Macclefield Forest, Parish of Rayno with Slattersford and Forest. So let's go in. This gate's a bit stiff, there we go. Let's go and um, have a little look in the forest, uh, in the chapel rather. So this porch, the keystone says 1834, although it looks like the one above has an older year which has become a bit worn. So I'm not sure the exact year the chapel was built. I'm pretty sure it was getting a bit windy then. Let's get inside. So um, here we go. It's open, which is nice to see. So just close the door. Here we are, we are in the Forest Chapel. What a really nice, peaceful place. Imagine, you know, people who would have come to church here, and indeed people who still come to church here, they possibly, you know, may walk miles across the fields to get to this lovely little church. But it, as I say, it's still functioning, they still have services, you know, which is really nice, some villages you come to. And fine, it's just been made into a house, but this is still functioning church, which is um, really nice. So what I'm going to do now, just go outside and have a look. And then I'm going to continue my walk down through the forest and up to Shutsling. So, so yeah, very nice. go that's the door closed so it's windy again but what a view to come out the church to let's just have a wander around here the road that way gets very much more rugged it becomes an unmade road chapel house farm there's the window above the chancel that must be the vestry here's the graveyard it's got a very cute little tower as well. So yeah, what, what a nice little church up here. So far from anywhere, but still there's life here. People come, you know, up here. I'm gonna carry on walking now in that direction through Macclesfield Forest.
So after exploring the lovely little Macclesfield church, um, getting windy again, we're now heading down towards Macclesfield Forest. Now, if you look ahead of us, that is what the next part of the walk's going to be. So it changes very much from, you know, this empty pasture lands where there's sheep grazing to a coniferous forest. We're then going to go right down into the valley and right up, up to over there. That shuts things though. Um, and that is where we're heading for us, but it'll probably be a couple of hours before I get there. But in the sake of a video, it'll probably be in a few minutes. So we're just now heading down the lane. We're not going to be on the lane for much longer. I can already see the footpath sign where I'm going to leave the lane and head down. And the wind's gone now, now we're in a bit of a cutting. Head down and into the forest itself. So it's uh, quite varied how the walk's changed now as we head down. There we are, there's the nice wooden public footpath sign. So that's where we're going, down this public footpath. There we are, it says. Welcome to Macclesfield Forest, Ho Macclesfield Forest, home of great water. There is a big reservoir down there, so um, we shall find that as we head down. Although it looks like, to start with, the footpath's taking us around the edge of the forest, but we will end up inside the forest. And here we are in the forest properly. We're coming down a very steep, pretty much one in one slope, little stream here goes underneath and down a little waterfall. I'm going to head right down there to where I can see a gate right down there and then I'm going to walk along the valley a bit before heading up again. So I think from looking at the path I'm coming down it's very nice and easy coming down but I think I've probably got that to come in the opposite direction going up up the hill on the other side of the valley. So here we are at Trent Bank Reservoir. The Bolling Brook has opened out into this man-made reservoir. The dam is just beyond those trees over there. You can see quite a few people do park here, who um, is an alternative place really you could park to do this walk. And um, quite a lot of people are walking in the Macclesfield Forest, which we are currently right in the middle of. But now I'm going to begin the real um, climb, and that is up Shutlings Low. Now, I know you can't see much, but it is basically through the trees just there. So, um, it's a very pleasant road. Like I said, when I drove here, I, I enjoyed the drive here as much as I did the actual walk. So, it's, um, you know, even getting here is exciting. So, yeah, Wild Boar Clough and Shutlings Low. So, on our way back, we will be above the village of Wild Boar Clough. We're not actually going to do that today. We'll possibly do that in another video. But this is where we're going. Shuttling slow, and they call it the mini mountain. So let the um, mountain climbing begin. So here we are on the climb up Shuttling. So we've come out of Macclesfield Forest, we're into an area of the forest where the trees have been cut down. And obviously, you know, it's, it's a very much a working forest where they produce timber, but then once this has all been cleared, they shall replant it and the forest will come back. But what it's done, it's given us this fantastic view. Now if you look just above the trees over there, I can see where the hamlet was, where we went to the chapel. I'll put a picture in of that now. So I know even in the picture it's very small, but just to give you an idea, we've literally come right down there and up again. The Trent Bank Reservoir is just behind those trees over there. So I'm going to continue following the path. There's a fork in the paths up there. I'm going to take the right one up out of the forest and back onto the um, to the barren sort of moorlands and uh, continue till we get to the top of Shatling's Slow and um, no doubt we'll see views like this but even more spectacular and in all directions. So it looks like I've come to the edge of Macclesfield Forest now. From now on we're going out onto the barren moorland. There's, um, just get through this kissing gate, and uh, you can see there's a stone path across the barren wall, and look at the view now, it's completely different on this side. Just going to keep going now, till we get to the top of Shuttlingslow. Well, here we are. I thought 
before I'd reached the summit. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm lying down, it's just to try and get out the wind a bit. The path is just there, um, and that is jumping uh, right ahead of us. So just when it seemed like it got to the top, we've still got quite a lot more climbing to go. So after coming up out of Macclesfield Forest, we came across this barren moorland, across this stone path. Now, it's quite wet up here, you'll be surprised to see you know, there's um, sort of boggy areas of water. And I'm not sure, it might be peat up here, but if someone wants to comment and tell me they can, um, please do. Now, we're going to follow this wall and the path, because looming ahead of us is shuttling slow. There we go. That is where we're going to so we really are going quite a lot higher than we were earlier so um, yeah to the top now so the view is getting better and I'm now on the final assault up shuttling's low it's turned into steps now it's so steep give you an idea look at that wall there we're, we're talking of pretty much a one in one slope now and um, we're not quite at the top yet so when we get to the top I'm gonna be able to show you even more spectacular views of what we can already see. So here we are at the top of Shuttling Slow. The view is amazing. We started right down there in the valley, down where you can't see it, but it, it, my car is down there. You can see the trig pillar that marks the top of, of the uh, mini mountain. There's Macclesfield Forest. I can just see Manchester behind it, but the camera probably isn't picking it out. Looking around, Wales will be in that direction. I can see another hill over there, the cloud. That is hopefully subject of a future Henry's Adventures video. Keeping on looking around, I can just see Tisselsworth Reservoir and Leek beyond it. And those other hills over there, that is the Roaches. I went up there recently and I intended to do a video like this, but it was so windy. It was clearer, so I could see further, but it was so windy, it was impossible. But also down in the woods below the Roaches is Ludge Church, which is um, also another place I've recently made a video. So um, I'm now going to leave you with the beautiful views from the top of Shuttling. So I'm going to make my way probably down that path, right down there, back down into the valley. So hope you enjoyed this video of this hike around the Peak District. Um, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment and tell your friends and you know, get out here in the sun and enjoy this walk for yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.